Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm JP. Uh, so this, today we have something a bit different other than sports cards or Pokemon. We've got Hammer Horror trading cards. Um, I can't remember who did these. It wasn't any like big name, but they're pretty cool. Um, Hammer Horror is something that I love uh, personally. It's one of my uh, fandoms. Um, so you do get back art on these cards and they make up like the movie poster. I'll show you there. So that's that. Yeah, you get two checklists. That's pretty cool. Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires movie poster. Well, they make it up like that. There we go. And you've got the hopping zombies at the back. <laughs> uh, so it's a 54 card base set. Uh, you get nine chase cards, which is Hammer Glamour. So female, female leads of the Hammer movies. Uh, they also sent out these packets, a bunch of these packets, um, have nothing to do with these, um, it's from a different set and tidy, it's the, from the Harryhausen collection, which would be also very cool, I'm a big Harryhausen fan. Um, but that said, they, some of these are black and white, some of these are coloured, uh, like I said they do make up. Um, some of them I'm going to have to cover, I can't let a nit, nip slip on the channel unfortunately or YouTube will have my balls so we'll flick through, through these like I said um, so we'll go with Dracula I'm not going to name off everything uh, some mummy and you get cast photos uh, film stills so I'm just going to quickly fly through these some of them are really nice shots um, not a Peter Cushion <laughs> and it's Captain Cronus or Captain Chronic because he does smoke weed right throughout the film. Yeah, <laughs> uh, the Vampire Hunter. Fun fact about that, they were going to actually make it into a TV series, uh, I think after the film, but the budget, budget fell out there. Uh, Hammer wasn't long shut at stars after that film. We'll just fly through that one. The set photos. Yep. Um, we've got Frankenstein and the Monster from Hell. It's David Prowse in that uh, costume, by the way. Uh, David Prowse also went on to play Darth Vader. Uh, there you go. Peter Cushion, I think he was in every Frankenstein film for Hammer. Some blood in there. Yeah, we've got Countess Dracula, another really good film, uh, starring Ingrid Pitt. Um, so they've really put the budget into that film and it come out really well. That was before the makeup and then after the makeup. Like I said, they did a really good job on it. Hands of the Ripper is not one I've actually watched yet. So I might give that a bash. Like I said, Legend of the Seven Golden Vampires, one of my favourites. One of the only Hammer films without Christopher Lee playing Dracula. That's it, that ain't Christopher Lee. Uh, yeah, he's one I've got to cover up, unfortunately. Sorry, fellas. And it is the Colson Twins from The Twins of Evil. Which I did a review for on uh, one of my other channels. Um, yeah, another brilliant film. Bombay Circus. That is David Prowse in as well. Curse of Frankenstein. I believe it was the first Frankenstein film for Hammer. Let's see, I'll just fly through these ones quickly because there is a lot. I wonder if they buy some uh, binders. No, oh, there's Christopher Lee. In his Frankenstein monsters uh, makeup. Then we're back on uh, Dracula. I do like the aesthetics of uh, some of the black and white ones. That's a really good shot. Uh, 
And there's a young Michael Goff. Look at it when I play Alfred in Batman 89. And the Hammer Glamour. See, there's the Coulson twins, Madeline and Mary from Twins of Evil. Uh, we've got Raquel Welsh, Caroline Monroe, Veronica Carlson, Madeline Smith. Uh, yeah, another nip slip. We're gonna have to cover that one for Valerie Leon. Uh, Martin Beswick, Ingrid Pitt, and last one is Hazel Court. And like I said, there's some of uh, uh, bits missing from this uh, collection. So that will be, yeah, I've got the chase set. There's bonus cards, they're limited number of sets, uh, so they might be hard to track down. Um, there's autograph cards. You can get most of the autograph cards off eBay, um, but they are still a bit uh, pricey. And the costume card, which is Barbara Shelley Red Sweater from Quartermass in the Pit. So yeah, I'll try and hunt them down. So in the meantime, if you can, please go ahead and subscribe and leave a like if you liked. If you didn't, then don't. And that's it. Till next time, see you later.